Okay, back to our open roads designer demonstration. We're getting ready to do super elevation. Get into our super elevation.dgn, which is a blank file. I'm going to attach our alignments to a reference file so we have access to those. Our geometry.dgn we attach. And here I'm going to go search for the super elevation tool. And this is going to show you an example of how to use the search bar up there to find tools. It dynamically finds tools. If you click on one, it'll tell you what tab it's under. So we're going to go to corridors. And there we found it. Super elevation. So we got to generate super elevation sections first. So we got to locate the corridor. The starting station, we're going to do the beginning and ending station. The maximum tangent length, if I would have adjusted that number, I could have had this thing all in one section, but I, I forgot to. Now we're going to do the super elevation lanes. Um, so we're going 12 feet either both ways, left and right. Here we're doing the left lane. And we're putting in our standard slope. negative 1.6 so now we've got shaded area show that we have super elevation lanes in there next step is to go calculate the super elevations we're going to go hit calculate super elevations we're going to have to pick the super elevation sections again this is where if we would have done one it would have been a little bit easier and now we're going to pick a standards file And we're doing the 2011 Ashto stuff. Um, I'm up here picking in the dialog. 8%. Uh, 75 miles per hour. I'm going to click the editor button. Uh, I could have been doing it down here in the heads up stuff. Now I'm having to repeat it. So I'm just clicking through. So I already said it. It's calculating super elevation. And it's pulling up the editor. If we go to a curve that has super elevation, you'll see all the values in there that are editable in the chart. Um, they may be editable now also up in the drawing up above. I'm not sure. I've, in a minute, I'll show you where we're, they've created a new view for super elevation. I think that's where you can really edit it. Um, we have to do some more investigation into that at some point. So. Um, here we're firing up, I believe, some reports. This is show you the reports. So we had to pick the super elevation sections. And we hit the generate reports before that. And you get various reports accessible for super elevation. Now we're going to create that super elevation view I was talking about. It's asking you to pick the sections again. Super elevation sections. There's the view. Uh, that's something that's brand new and I believe that's where they made things editable uh, I'm not for sure and we're going to switch back over to the corridor and we're going to apply the super elevations to the corridor so we need to reference in the super elevation drawing and so that we can utilize it as a reference file and we're going to go pull up the tool to apply the super elevation to the corridor underneath the pickaxe. And here the video got kind of cut and we, it's missing a couple of steps. We're going to pick the super elevation sections and basically it's going to ask you, you know, about the points left and right that super elevation gets applied to and then it gets applied. So down in the lower right here, we got the dynamic cross sections going. And so I'm going to navigate to something in a curve and show you that we actually do have super elevation in the corridor now. And now we're going to move on to the next video.